people on this list are definitely no stranger to the spotlight, but sometimes that spotlight comes in the form of the hot seat in court. What is up, IO fam? Welcome back. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and we are about to dive into the top 10 celebrities who went to court and won. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Frank Ocean. The singer was sued back in 2017 by his estranged father, Calvin Cooksey, for $14.5 million. The suit had Calvin accusing Frank of defamation after a Tumblr post that Frank had posted the year prior. In the post, Frank had told a story in which he claimed that his father had used a derogatory term in reference to a server who is trans. Calvin claimed that the story was fake and that it cost him, quote, future financial opportunities in the film and music industries. He went on to state that the defendant, which in this case is obviously Frank, is a, quote, scam artist, a fraud, and a hypocrite who deceived the LGBTQ community on June 21st, 2016 for the financial success of Blonde, which is an obvious acknowledgement to Frank Ocean's album. When the case went to court later that year, a judge ruled that Calvin had failed to prove that Frank defamed him at all. In our number nine spot today, we have Meghan Markle. Back in October of 2019, Meghan Markle filed a lawsuit against the Associated Newspapers, which are the publishers of things like The Sun. The lawsuit was filed because they had published a handwritten letter between her and her father in 2018. She alleged that the publication breached the Data Protection Act, it was a misuse of private information and copyright infringement, but they claimed that instead it was an official piece of royal communications intended for PR and not an original work. The letter in question was quite personal, in which Meghan pleaded with her father to stop speaking to the media and to stop posing for paparazzi photos. She explained that it was hurting her because he was essentially exploiting her. While the relationship wasn't on good terms prior to this, it seems as though the publication of this letter was one of the final straws in their relationship. In the end, in December of 2021, the court sided with Meghan. After the fact, she was quoted as saying, While this win is precedent setting, what matters most is that we are now collectively brave enough to reshape a tabloid industry that conditions people to be cruel and profits from the lies and pain that they create. In our number eight spot today, we have Arielle Winter. Best known for her time on Modern Family, Arielle Winter saw her day in court when she was a teenager and had a petition to be emancipated. When she was 14 years old, her guardianship was handed over to her older sister, Chanel, and for the next few years, she was faced with legal proceedings in order to ensure that her sister received permanent guardianship. This finally came to fruition in 2014, and the following year, she was fully emancipated from her parents. After this, she sent out a tweet that read, quote, I'm really lucky I have an amazing support system and lovely people in my life who have given me the support and guidance to have been given this wonderful opportunity. Most importantly, I want to thank at Chanel Gray and my father for their special support regarding this matter. I really couldn't have done it without you. Thank you to all of my family, friends, and fans who have supported me through all of my endeavors in life and have encouraged me. Thank you for making my life so special. I can't wait to embark on my new adventures. In our number seven spot today, we have Leighton Meester. Back in 2011, Leighton Meester was seen taking her mother to court. It turns out that she allegedly discovered that the money that she had been sending to her mother in order to help out with her younger brother's medical expenses were actually being used by her mother to instead get cosmetic procedures. Her mother rebutted this claim, stating that Leighton had also verbally promised to take care of her, which is why she saw fit to spend the money this way. Leighton wasn't even suing her mother in order to recover the money. It was more so to make it official that there was no contract between her and her mother and that she was under no obligation to financially take care of her, and a year later, Leighton won the legal battle. In our number six spot today, we have Macaulay Culkin. Back when this star was just a teen, his parents split up, which unfortunately left him in the middle of a sort of custody battle to determine who would be in control of his multi-million dollar fortune. Of course, no one would want to be in the middle of that, so basically he figured the best thing to do would be to legally remove both of them from his trust fund. That way, I mean, who could argue over it? It is his after all. He ended up finding an executor to look after his finances, quote, just in case anyone wanted to stick their effin' pinky in the pie. Of course, people had opinions on this entire thing, and Macaulay himself wanted to clear up any rumors when he said, quote, it's always misconstrued that I emancipated myself from my parents. I just thought I was doing it cleanly, taking my father's name off, 
taking my mom's name off, so my opinion is unbiased. And when I did that, the whole thing kinda ended a lot faster. I mean, when you put it like that, that seems incredibly mature and definitely like the best solution. In our number 5 spot today we have Alec Baldwin. Back in 2013, Alec Baldwin saw himself testifying in court when he spoke out against an accused stalker who claimed to have had an affair with Alec. The accused was Genevieve Saborin who was arrested in 2012 and charged with 23 counts of harassment and one count of stalking. While on the stand, not only did Alec deny these affair allegations, but he also teared up when discussing how terrified and threatened he and his wife felt when the accused showed up at their Hamptons home. In the end, Genevieve was found guilty and ended up being sentenced to six months in jail. In our number four spot today we have Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton is certainly not a complete stranger to court and while she testified in the infamous bling ring trial, in 2011 she had her own burglary trial to testify in. She was seen testifying against another burglar who was said to have broken into her home wielding a knife. Paris was sleeping at the time with her then boyfriend, Cy Waits. I can't imagine how terrifying that must have been, and it was also probably incredibly difficult to have to relive it in court. In the end though, her testimony was worth it and the suspect, Nathan Parada, was sentenced to two years in a state prison. In our number 3 spot today we have Tyra Banks. Back in 2019, supermodel Tyra Banks had to make an appearance in court in order to testify against an admirer who threatened to kill a producer in a TV studio that she was filming in. The accused, Brady Green allegedly brought Tyra over a dozen roses, but when he was of course refused entry onto the set to see her, he then made these wild threats. In the end, Tyra had to face the man in court where she testified how she felt threatened for her safety and for the safety of the crew and her family. She said that the day this occurred, she was forced to hide in her dressing room because she was so frightened. In the end, while he didn't receive the most harsh sentence, Brady was sentenced to one year of probation. In our number two spot today, we have Catherine. Herb. This Law & Order star saw herself testifying in court back in 2010. The story of this trial starts back in 2008 after a man named Charles Nagel began stalking her after trying to hug her while she was filming in Manhattan. Authorities said that when he was denied this hug, he then began composing strange and creepy messages about her online. As she testified, she explained that she feared him and that she thought he was obsessed with her. He claimed it was just a misunderstanding and that he simply was just a star struck fan. In the end, Catherine's testimony and the other evidence gathered was enough to prove that there was some sort of a threat and a crime had been committed. Charles was then sentenced to 5 years probation as well as $42,000 in restitution. In our number 1 spot today we have Dane Cook. It is pretty well known that Dane Cook was in a position where he had to take his own brother to court. Dane's brother Daryl served as Dane's manager from the early 1990s until 1998 and Dane later found out that during this time Daryl and his wife had stolen about $12 million from Dane, of course without his knowledge. That's a huge amount of money and it of course had Dane involving the authorities. In the end, Daryl pleaded guilty to larceny, embezzlement and forgery among other charges. In addition to being required to pay back the millions of dollars that they stole, Daryl received a prison sentence of 6 years with 16 year probation and his wife, who was also in on it, received 3 years in prison and a 13 year probation. Alright guys, that has been our list for today, thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski and I'll see you next time. Bye.